was thinking today, you guys, everybody here is single. Yeah. I am like shocked. That's a good thing. I think I need to start like a, a, a dating, like I need to match people up or something. <laughs> You're right. It is a good thing. Yeah. A lot of good people are by themselves yeah. and it, it's a good message working on themselves and healing. And, but I was like, my God, we all kind of had a couple of difficult years. We're going to blame it on that. And now <laughs> we're, we're ready. <laughs> uh, okay. Bree just got her first rejection and we yeah. got to start it off like that because oh, I, I, she's I, we were me. laughing our asses off yesterday she got right. her first rejection okay so tell us a little bit about that right so i did present this to mj because i have never been in a, situ a situation obviously i've experienced rejection but never initially and especially this was the first time ever giving a guy my phone number <laughs> so <laughs> it, really? Yeah. Okay. Whoa, so that's first, already a story. <laughs> so first, I will go back and tell you guys. So I had uh, moved by myself. And so this guy, this is in January, right? So this guy is at the front of my apartment complex. And he, he works there. Right. He works there. He works at the front. And um, he was giving me the keys and stuff. And so initially, I didn't think anything of it because we just met. And then I kept getting these missing packages. And so I was like, you know, I would go up to the front all the time. And then he would be like, oh, yeah, Brie, like, I, I saw that you did get a package. I'm like, oh, so you remember my name, you know, like, we're right. okay. No and so I was like, okay. And like, he was so nice to me. I thought that we were picking up on some energy. And so <laughs> it's been. He, he was, just he was picking, picking up, your up with your land yeah. down, right? <laughs> So that wait a minute, wait a minute, yeah. something about you lifting the box and then and oh, then him right. saying, the, don't yeah, break I'm your like, back. Wait, and you're wait. like, this bag's going to break. <laughs> it's oh. all the time. Oh. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, and I thought that he, he was like picking up on the energy and like, he like chuckled a little bit. So I was like, yeah, you know. And so then um, after that, I see. Okay. Oh, hold okay. on, let's fast forward because this bothered you so much okay. that right. he did not call you or text you or even respond that well, you yeah you were asking the chipotle, <laughs> chipotle. oh oh right oh. she's so upset i forgot and about disturbed that. that this guy when she gave the phone number yeah and let's also go back to i caught him alone one day in the office and i was like hey and he was like what's up you know like very nice and um, I go, I put it down on a piece of paper, like my number. And I was like, this is for you. And he was like, thank you. And then he starts opening it. But as he's opening it, I'm like walking out. And then I looked <laughs> behind to like kind of like chuckle and just to see if he's like giving a look or anything. And this man is staring at this piece of paper so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, what are you? Uh, listen, they, she threw everything at this dude. So this guy's either gay. Or he is clueless. He's clueless. clueless. But I don't know because he could have a girlfriend. But if he had a girlfriend, he uh, like he would he would have like said, "Hey, you know, I have a girlfriend. I can't like I appreciate the gesture, but I can't you know I can't call you." Maybe she but, dropped it in his hands and walked away real quick. <laughs> oh, I went to his desk. No, oh, no, you made but, it sure. But she turned around and looked at him right. to see get a reaction, and yeah. he was just in the stand like, Ooh. yeah, he's like, Man, this dude is clueless. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? And yes, MJ is right because then a, a day went past, and I was like, he's playing hard to get. <laughs> totally, so, yeah, that's our mind, right? <laughs> We're always overly confident. <laughs> So the next day was Monday for, for work. So I asked my team chat, the, these men that are like 45 and above, I'm like, hey, so um, what do you guys think? Like if a girl gave you their number, what's the time frame to wait? And to keep me updated. So yeah. now everybody at her work knows that she's been <laughs> rejected. <laughs> right. It's in my group. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. But then I love the vulnerability. It, it, it was eating at me so intensely that I went to Chipotle and I literally was like, can I ask you something <laughs> to a Chipotle worker? <laughs> and yeah, take you like, okay. you yeah. 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 Multiple yeah. choice here. And, and she, was, she even <laughs> prayed at church. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> she didn't. I did. I tried everything for this man. 
And then um, the Chipotle mm. worker was like, oh, yeah, like after three days, probably move on. I'm like, okay. yeah, totally. It's yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. No, no yeah. no you know what I like about this guy? We were talking about this yesterday. What I like about him uh -huh. is that in today's world, a guy, even if he did have a girlfriend, chances are is going to let that go to his ego and say something to let her know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I wasn't, I'd hit that. You know, some sort not of all guys are like not all guys, no. not all guys. No. But yeah. today's, but he right. refrained from that. He didn't. So now she wants him even more. <laughs> exactly. She's like, and he's faithful. <laughs> and he was a gentleman. Well, she doesn't even know that he has a girlfriend, though. So we don't I even know. know. That. Yeah. So she's gonna have to go and and say, "Hey, we discussed this you on the go. on the podcast, and we up. really want to know." Yeah, I'm too afraid because it's like you okay. weren't afraid to give him your number, but you're afraid to be asking why he didn't call you. That took me three months. <laughs> first, I would, first listen, of all, I would. You have the personality. You, I, you. Don't, I don't see you being scared of nothing. So yeah. no, just go yeah, ask him. You like, gotta I go ask my number. This yeah. just kind of bothers me. Why didn't you call me? And then uh, yeah. that, that way you, because obviously this is eating, like inside, they're just bothering She you. wants closure. Right. So well, you definitely closure. need but, that closure. But, Medi, do you think that it's up to a girl to go and, like, instead of receiving and finding, why not? finding it out, you think it's okay and appropriate yeah, for a, a woman to approach a man and ask why after she already put her, her foot? She's probably thinking this. Women think this, I think. Like, we right. aren't just going to go follow up twice. We already gave it a yeah. shot once. But why not? See, that's the thing. We, every, like, there's this rule that women shouldn't do. That's not true. The women talk about being equal and doing all this and be feeling like that. But then you don't want to try. You don't want to go up to a guy. Or if he rejects you, you don't want to be like, why the fuck did you reject me? Right. You got you, you, you to gotta go. If you're going to do it, just do it. I would walk up to him and say, you know, it is killing me. You're the first man that's ever, ever rejected, rejected me. me. And yeah. I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't say I that. would because it's going to break the ice and it's going to make her like, yeah, a, a little joke. bit more. Not you know. But what if he's a not joke. a jerk, though? What if he's not like. A no, a jerk. Not a joke. Like, oh, like, a joke. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. I, I, like, I, like, like, the first you're the first one that's guy. Ever, I have to know the answer. Why I'll never you? forget you, baby. Yeah. yeah. You, first put, guy. you put my ego in check. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. He I've did. grown from this. Yeah. He humbled me. But see, and the thing is, is I always like, you know, I was talking to MJ about this. Like, my younger self would have um, made like a negative impact about it. Right. And instead, I turned it around He's and grown. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go back out there and still do the same thing Aww. because. But now she has to take the long way home around the right. office so that she doesn't <laughs> run into him. I I avoid him. Okay. Yeah. okay, I did a poll and I asked, "Is it possible to stay sexually committed to one person for an entire lifetime?" What do you think the response was? What do you think the percentage was? Well, I know it's possible. It's just how many people do it, right? It is possible. What do you think? I would say probably like 20% said they would. Mm, I think that it's going to be a higher rate due to our generation. So probably 50%. Guys, it was 85% said yes. Said yes. Oh, that's actually hopeful. I, I know. Wow. I, I was like, Whoa. that actually brings me so yes. much. <laughs> Not me I'm like, wow. And, 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 yeah. the, and the options were. Um, yes, no, uh, I would like to, and hell no. Right. So they didn't even pick the, I would like to, it was, yes, yes, it is possible. That is such a great Isn't question. Great? And especially Everybody with everything out there, going there is on, uh -huh. like right now, I've always felt a little like worried about, you know what I'm noticing, yeah. uh, in coaching, I'm really noticing that because the way the world is, everybody really is um, in Crazy. need for yeah. for connection. I know that when they do find somebody that they do connect with, it's almost like instant because everybody really but, is so used to that they're ready to take a chance and they're ready to connect because yeah. of our technology. Right. Uh, that, everything that's, that's yeah. going on. That yeah. we're getting a was that more, more male or female response? Do you know if the percentage? Uh, uh, do you know I gotta that? go back and look. I'll go back that and would look. Be interesting to find. And you out. know what? 
a if lot of men more, find me. Okay. It, it, was, it was probably more men. Really? Yeah. Wow. My, I got That's 70% more men. Follow me. You know, crazy that you say that because I was looking up statistics in America and um, the average amount of how many people are single and how many people are, you know, willing to be in a relationship. And actually, 68% of men are willing to be in a relationship and 55% of women are, are willing, more willing. Or um, yeah. wanting. Yeah. Men, men yeah. want it. Women have right. changed where they're not they're not interested anymore in getting married and having children. What? They're more worried yeah, about no, their career sure. and right. where they're going to be going. They don't they're oh, not no. raised anymore that this is what you do. You mm -hmm. go to school, you graduate, you shame. go out and, you know. And it's just like it. chivalry is dead, too, because I think the thing is, is um, it's really hard. No, it's not, I don't no. think so. No, well, it's not. Or they, in my gender, yeah, I should say, yeah. like, I'm 24, so a lot of the men that I deal with, well, in my realm, um, obviously, I've had to <laughs> branch out and look for a new realm of men, there but the men go. that I have dealt with, they are very disrespectful. But you're, you, you're going through this faith change, mm -hmm. and so because of that, your taste for men is going to completely change exactly because you could recognize manipulation right. Absolutely. and it's like a woman does not want to be manipulated um and another thing about it too uh, but that's not a man the man who tries to manipulate that's not a that's, that's not, not a man, man. Yeah. That, yeah that's a Pop, little boy, that's a boy. exactly yeah. boy. exactly and that's that's what sucks about being <laughs> in your 20s is because a lot of men you know, especially when women, you know, they, they develop faster than men. So a lot of women are wanting older men because the men our age, you know, don't have that, uh, you know, emotional stability. And I hear that and about men your age want older women because they say the same thing about their women, like their girls, yeah. like that's what they, it's I emotional intelligence. What people really both, what it boils down to on both sides is safety. Men want to feel safe. Mm -hmm. Women, right, feel many. Safe 100%. women absolutely got to want to need that. Yeah. It, whoever, all the listeners, if you can make her feel safe, Done. She, she'll do anything right. yeah. and everything but for the, the, you, the but men is, want though, it too. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Uh, the thing is with all these dating apps, it's changed a lot of like the way people yeah, can, absolutely. Like, act and it's like no one wants to tr i know that the, your poll said that but no one wants to try to be in a relationship it's like as soon as i see some i don't like i'm gonna move to the next and yeah. then, to the, both next, of them. And then yeah. to the next but that's why if if there is that connection if there is that like we're the all glue. energy so we don't have to meet to experience something so when that happens though between two people if they're truly open to it that's when people are are, are really connecting like they're taking the chance and not just bypassing it yeah i i'm really noticing it mm -hmm. people are 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 just are they just jumping. bypassing their chances is that what you're noticing they are they're lonely yeah and so when they find somebody that checks off a couple of boxes and there's like this, uh, you know, attraction for whatever reason, chemistry, they're, they're ready to go for it. Whereas before, I think the pandemic, uh, you know, people would date, date and date and date and date and date. Mm -hmm. But so you now think I think that that's kind of like changed. I our think perception love is now we're very possible. Yes. To people are ready. Yes. Yes, men are ready for relationships. They, there, there's a lot of good men out there. They're yeah, really. I, I, I was ready for a relationship before the pandemic. So, so Medi is Me single. Too. If anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I think going back to the the gentleman comment, like mm -hmm. that, it's gone out of style, or it's like completely reduced since right. then. I think it's like as you get older, you realize like a woman can only accept that. So then it's kind of the vibe that you put off. Like it's what like, we. You it's kind like, of like you have to. Make you have sure. to. Yeah, it's the individual. I'm the person. one that's driving the. Right, you're the one that's driving. Yeah. Yes. So your taste in men are changing. You know, this just it's like our. It's, it's our. A, we evolve and yeah. learn. Yeah, I remember yeah. being so mm -hmm. confused. Whenever you grow up in in your family and the way that you think, all that has to do with everything. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, and then you finally have a realization later on, and you're like, "Wow, like I finally yeah. get my worth." Or uh, right, we all we all struggle with that, no matter how yeah. old we are. But still, you start to get a little closer to it. I know that you're very helpful with these things because that's what 
<laughs> I mean, that's what you, like that's you said, you I know mean. what yeah. people are talking about. Yeah. Like they're coming to you vulnerable, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. you know? So you kind of know like the deep inner thoughts, like the things that nobody's just going to put a mask on about. They tell her things that nobody else, we wouldn't be able to tell each other in a living room. You get no. down to the core. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they, and they feel like they're going to, you know, go to the grave with that. But right. it's very interesting the amount of single people and how, what good people that really I is. know that I'm like all these people because they are taking the time. They're not, right. they're not rushing into just, they don't have to. We're okay with being alone now, you guys. So yeah. you're saying standards. Yeah. We're okay right. with being alone now. We were forced 100%. to be alone and now we're yeah. like, okay, this isn't I, that bad. Yeah. I like myself. Well, I feel like also dating online has changed that, especially since the pandemic, because like he said as well, um, you do have a lot of options. So it's easy to swipe and judge someone off of how attractive they are, quote unquote. Um, But in are you guys on dating apps? Not anymore. I took myself off. I'm just on Hinge because that's where I I like the design of the app because then it gives me an opportunity to actually get to see what their interests are because for me it has to be a point of having values as well or right. like you want to be adventurous and go do something other than oh hey i drink on the weekend by the way good point <laughs> girls just want to have fun i want to bring this up because women we always hint and we we hint and hint and hint that's the way women speak right we mm-hmm. hint like hoping the guy will pick it up but girl if you were to just take girls and go have fun with them they will fall yeah. another thing like we like to do things. we like to be little Girl, girls the we like song to girls, girls just want to have fun was right. meant for a reason right. so. yeah. take us to crack yeah you like we'll do anything like no we'll, wait we'll, a minute no. there's no woman around that wants me to take it to crack well 100 okay their pancakes are delicious <laughs> i'm not going to hate on crack activities though versus it, d- it does depend just though coffee. it depends on the person y'all let's be honest no coffee if, if, if it really does if, yeah you you'll <laughs> You'll go. There's boring women as well. Sorry. Oh yeah. Is there? Sorry. There's some women Whoops. that like Cracker Barrel. I guess I like there's... fun. <laughs> which, which is cool though. That's super cool. That's totally fine. Listen, the, like the women cracker that I fine. meet, they're like, oh, I want to go like to the best restaurant, and I want mm-hmm. this, and they want you to take me shopping I'm right like, away. What? Yeah, and I'm like, Most what? Why the yeah. fuck would I take you shopping? Who, the, who are you? What? Like, and then oh, we must been do that. I'm like. I'm wow. looking for a, a partner in life. Right. Right. So we can grow together and build an empire. Yeah. Right. That's what's up. Somebody who's just coming and want uh, behind me this doing I'm like, no. That's not a problem. I'm I'm not having that. I, I'm the same exact way because I don't feel like it should be materialistic in 100%. order. To, to love somebody. No way. So Cracker Barrel, yes, tells you. <laughs> so Cracker Barrel, yes. There's, there's nothing wrong with Cracker Barrel. Take me to Cracker really Barrel. Uh, is there a difference between jealousy and, um, or being jealous versus territorial? Two different things. I think so, too. Yeah. Territorial yeah. is, you know, you mind, and like, you, you, first of all, you trust a person, but if someone comes and they're being disrespectful or out of line, you, you're going to be like, hey, like you're out of line. I, I you're not gonna like disrespect my my significant other like that, right? Being jealous is being insecure. Yeah, agreed. Right. Uh, either way, I feel like if both partners are very secure and have already met their life goals, then they could reciprocate the same energy so that you don't run into those problems. Because a lot of the point of a partnership is to be in a unity, right? I have a lot of great guy friends, you know, um, and I know what everyone says, red flag, red flag. But ultimately, um, these people, you know, I people, right. And and so they've been very good friends to me. And, you know, we've even experienced um, one of our friends passing away together. And that honestly brought us closer. And he was a great representation of what a man really should be. And so for me, it's like, you'll never tell me to remove these men from my life. I want a man that's so secure that he will trust me. Yeah. Insecurity is something totally different. Right. Jealousy is different than being territorial. I think, I mean, territorial to me is, uh, this is, yeah, mine. And yeah, it has a lot to do with respect. Jealousy is, uh, I want what you have. That you need to work on yourself. Right. Insecurity I, I say insecurity is an ugly the disease. Turn yeah. off to Whoa. Me but ever. Some people sneak that shit in and, and it's like, you know, because okay. confidence 
is totally different. Yes. Right. And, yeah. You can still have confidence and be insecure yes. as fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys get 100%. that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And right. it's the biggest. Listen, it's the biggest turnoff to me mm, because I can't stand it. And when someone asks just based on what like another person does, like I had nothing to do with it. If, like we go somewhere and the girl's hitting on me. It's not my fault. I didn't like. Inst I didn't instigate it. But then what the fuck is she hitting on you? What you do? And I'm like, Versus right. look at you, you're babe. Like, yeah, sitting. you're such an attractor. Mm -hmm. Like exactly. yeah, that's a different right. thing. I, yeah, other mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. see what I see in you. That's how yeah. you handle it though, and you're being cool yeah. about it. How the man handles that is totally different. If he lets it go to his head, but if you're just like. She's insecure and she was like, What did it? Look da, da, how that's, sexy my woman that is. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it's a compliment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If a, like is. I said, if a guy's being disrespectful, I'll punch him in the eye, yeah. right? But punch if, him he, in the if eye. but if he's, eye. If, recognizing but if he's like if just recognizing yeah. and like, like, let's say you're at, at a bar restaurant and you away and the guy comes in and hits on her, it's not his fault. He didn't know that she was with me, yeah, and she turned him down. He walked away. I've seen where the guy goes and starts yelling at the girl. What the fuck was you? Was I got hitting on you? Like what? Oh, that's like, bro. Ridiculous. Yeah. Like that's it's ridiculous. a compliment. The girl yeah. looks good. She that's the reason yeah. you're with her because she yeah. looks good, right? right? Yeah. So why are you getting mad that she looks good? And another man hits on her. Don't men gauge? I mean, that's like you earn another man's respect by the quality of woman that you have on your arm. To a certain degree. Yeah. I mean. At men and women, when you have someone that's attractive with you, it's, it's a, you know, you, it, it gets people's attention. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. But proud, men, it's a male thing that men, well, yeah. yeah so men want to yeah. be very proud of who they have on their arm because the other men. To a certain there. degree. Uh, I mean, when I was younger, that was more important to me. Now for me, it's more what what does she do? How, how competent and, and like how smart she is. That's more important to me now. Like Don't get me wrong. Like if she meant for you versus everyone else. Yeah. You're like oh, yeah. more like connect. Yeah. Care more about what you guys have together. Of course. Yeah. It's so important for people to find people that have the same values. I think mm -hmm. that's the secret right there. A hundred percent values okay would you rather be good looking and poor or rich and ugly rich and ugly <laughs> <laughs> good looking and poor because i can always get rich okay uh i would have to i would have to second that uh i would definitely go for i don't know though what what's the definition of rich? <laughs> just that's all you get. That's like you, get, you, you talking get, about like wealthy or just oh mm. right? Are we talking material? Uh, because that doesn't mean too much. Let's talk. Let's just let's just say uh yeah. Let's say wealthy. Okay. Wealthy. So you know, I was making a joke first and foremost, but you see these wealthy men around with the hottest women, right? Because there's a lot of women that want that money and that state but you know they want all it's that right? but <laughs> right but it is that person really care about you or are they there just for the money and the good time yeah and to add to that i have been on dates with men that are very successful at my age um where they've spent six hundred dollars on a date you know and that does not impress me because then i ask him so how did you get to the place that you're at today? Like, what are your interests? Oh, I totally love sports, but I'll never watch a movie. Um, actually, if you ask <laughs> anyone, if you ask it, I actually went on a date and this is word for word what this guy told me. If you ask anyone, I hate movies. Ouch. I was like, sir. He wasn't fun to play with. Yeah. You're, you're no. scraping the edges of your plate. Talking about literally nothing because you have no substance. Yeah. All you have to no draw at me is, the, is the money aspect. Like, yeah. tell me about you. I care about you. That's why I came out here to because I found interest in you, you know? So, obviously, wealth doesn't have, you know, measure, I guess, as much as people think it no, does. No, it does right. not. No, 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 no. It, does, it not. does not. So, I guess I'd be good looking and poor. I'd be good looking and poor. Yeah. 
I'd rather be healthy first and foremost. <laughs> right, that was right. exactly. Right. Many with all the answers. Yeah. Then good looking. All three of us. He's had three. And then rich. We got. We had three. I'll take all three of those. <laughs> we had three women coming here, and we were all on time. But Medi was the one that was late. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't my fault. True. That is true. It was a oh, first of all. all of even us. though I was late, I still had to wait for the women to do their hair and oh, makeup. Oh, we just started redoing everything. stuff because you yeah, gave oh, it was my fault. Yeah, no, no, no. My apologies. Okay, yeah, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you, I just had to give you shit. Uh-huh. Um, do you guys follow celebrities anymore, or do you follow the people that you follow on social media? Like, do you have an interest anymore that you're? That I've you're kind never, of into never followed anymore? celebrities, but I love podcasts like PBD yes. and what? and like I like love and lies. I have love and lies, baby. As, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like that's the new thing to do. And all mm-hmm. I want to do is learn all day. I actually have an obsession, a sick obsession with learning. So I think that, the podcast generation is perfect for someone like me and it gets dangerous though i mean honestly you when you have know. an obsession it's like that okay. would be did, one of shana's problems did you know that you can be sexually turned on by intelligence oh i already know that yeah yeah that's okay. a big i am her for me that's why when you only gave me poor an ugly versus ri- yeah like none of that She's i was like, like I that smart. wasn't one yes yeah, so i was like Where's that wasn't one of my answer? options yeah okay is it a hard pass if somebody uses a coupon on the first date, yeah, what do you do? If somebody Wait, so like you go somewhere that use a coupon on the first that's date. That's a no, yeah. thank you. Well, no, no, no. But hang on. So well, this person true. could have went through something like it's rat and bad, and now they're rebuilding. But they want to show you a good time, and they're trying to save money yeah. to make their life better. See, That's now you, you're just judging right now. I you, am. You just judged. With, uh, yeah. But, but it, I'm it, unapologetically, it, it, and I would it, give you my position. The, absolutely, you should. But this person obviously put time aside. Maybe they're not doing well, and, and they're trying to show you a good time. But they're, they they want to make sure they do it. And they survive at the same time. So you can't judge that. You can talk to the person and find out why they use the coupon. But right away, you're like, no, fuck that guy. I don't need nothing with him. But yeah. Shayla's not judgy. She's not judgy. But what is your yeah, thing? Because I'm, you're- I'm totally chill. But it's just more about the people that I can associate with that type of personality over many years of experience. Mm-hmm. I can easily say the way they think. And I think in abundance. So once you start... Yeah, once you start um, that type of a date off, it's kind of discounting the person that you're with. Right. If they were to do it on the sly and then we were to talk about like, did you know that when we first met that I was struggling and it comes up, but to be blatant about it and and like, oh, I'm proud to save this money. And then that goes with the rest of your characteristic in life. It's kind of that shrinking mentality. And that's basically what ends up happening with everything with those I'm not going to completely say it's those type of people, but I'm anyone that constantly is over obsessed with getting a discount or thinks like that. It turns into something else. Yeah, it's yeah. just. I mean, if their value, psychology. it goes right down to the same values. If somebody's yeah. like, "Oh my god, I would use a coupon too." We're fucking perfect for yeah. each other. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I <laughs> know. I'm the type that doesn't make a price too. even when I'm broke because it's something I can't change. So I don't. I don't sit there and think about those types of things. I think about that time it took me to find the coupon. I could have made the money. And that's the way I think. So the way my whole psychology works is just completely opposite of the coupon clipper. Yeah, I always think about, too. yeah, I just think differently. So it just no, wouldn't be my like type of person. Too. Like when people are like, how come you don't clean your house? I'm like, because the three hours that I'm yeah, going to waste. Right. Right. Now, it. yes. like, I can sense. make way more money yeah. than mm-hmm. someone mm-hmm. else to do with food. Yeah, mm-hmm. we just aren't on the same yeah. page. Mm-hmm. But I'm not against those people. It's just that's what. We well, you be ha- clicking. Yeah, but you have to address it initially because, for example, I was in a relationship with someone where I went for his personality and I would say that we were very compatible personality wise. However, I got into the habit of paying for things for us. Um, mm-hmm. And then it got to a point where we would split the bill. And I'm not saying that because I do believe in equality, obviously. But when a woman wants to feel special and like in that certain circumstance, he asked me to go out to celebrate my new job. So I was like getting ready. I was feeling, you know, special about myself. And then it was a $40 tab and he made us split. But mind you, did you go to did you go out with him again after that? Um, actually, yeah, I did because I was so immature at the time and naive. And, um, actually he, this is the guy that I told you about where we ended because he, 
had slept over um slept over i don't know the full story i'm i'm not going to say because i i don't i still don't know to this day um however i was getting close with this girl that was still he my ended friend. up being a right yeah. so in, in retrospect basically what happened is he got with my friend You're at the like, end of it right after he made me pay for the $40 tab. Um, but the point that I'm making here is obviously we all make mistakes. I, I won't judge him for that. I've forgiven him for it. Him and I are cool now, so there's no beef. But, but, but wait, what, did, what were you going out with him for? It was not his looks. No. So you are lowering the soul. <laughs> right. Because now you're really pissed. You're like, I dated you right. for, <laughs> I think for you're fucking ugly. And now you just did this to me. Yes. That's and, hilarious. Yes. And I, and he was like a part of like my guy friend group because, um, you know, I went to ASU. So a lot of the time we, we would go to this certain frat. And so all of my close guy friends are in there and I really respect and appreciate all of the guy friends that I do have. And so I thought that he was kind of on Gonna the same like, train. No. no. Right. And then it just completely went south. But that's what I'm saying. If he pulled out a, co a coupon the first date, I would, because of that experience alone, <laughs> I would say like probably not a next time just for the simple fact of if they get used to that type of behavior, then you set that boundary. You said, hey, that doesn't really matter to me. So then in retrospect, they, they kind of allow. But bottom yeah, line is, he asked you out on a date and he split the bill with you. Yeah. Let's be clear. Th about that, that. That's a no. My bill that was $9 and I had to but split But it half. doesn't matter. See, there goes that money calculator, Mr. Yeah. Count Dracula. Anyone that's a Count Dracula is dangerous, right? He, exactly. The thing is, you one, uh, uh, I'm going to keep track yeah. of things. Like, that's already, like, I can yeah, already that's see. That's got to be your thing. That's yeah. got to be your thing. It's the only way it's going to work. Yeah. Oh, and other, yeah. other, other, other Count Draculas yeah. need other. Count Dracula. Yeah. That's what One time, I, I, I really wanted to see him but th this is why college. did you really want to see <laughs> yeah, him yeah. end of story <laughs> end of story totally. okay okay if somebody this is a good question for you right if somebody was really good looking like how it was your type and had a great career and had money and but totally but what's they, the but they yeah. totally sucked at kissing bad what would you do yeah, you can I, i'd have that to... rich thing again because it's like that's that all that doesn't matter it's kind of the same thing as being rich and and wealthy but then you have no connection because this kissing, is about the kiss this ain't the about kissing, the... <laughs> for the me kissing it's is the connection she, what she, what she, i think what the question is what if, if the guy is perfect but he sucks at kissing mm. or the person not just the guy How can yeah the person. Perfect, like you're like he's this he's this he's this and then you go to like kiss him and the then is he's so a very ways. bad kisser yeah. could you but you said well okay he has a good job i and still remember the worst kiss i've ever kisser. had <laughs> i'm thinking about it right now oy, oy, basically oy, every oy. man i've kissed is the worst kiss i've ever had no so. really yeah. that's you're a part you what i've had really bad luck with men guys like i really have like if you guys know man, even half of my stories the, i know half of your story yeah. <laughs> but man kissing to me is like, like if somebody couldn't kiss yeah like, who, i don't care special. who the hair yeah so, yeah. so like as my in a relationship because I feel like energetic connection, even I thought it was so important, like sex wise to hook up with the person before we became even like exclusive. I know terrible thoughts. Um, it's thought not process. Thought. So. Um, but ultimately, I feel like if you have an energetic connection with someone, it'll just flow like that kiss will feel so amazing, whether they're great at kissing or not. So Make that's my great. take on it. But it's like, in theory, you think that the kiss really matters. But I've had that situation, to be honest, like where the person had everything else and the kiss was like decent. I couldn't. And it. it was like, it was <laughs> hard because do you do negotiate in your head like, er, 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 there's but, no way. But then they would have a Dude, good kiss start... and then everything else could be. Th this is what I did. Ah, you know, you're like, you know how... oh, maybe we need to take this a little bit further. For <laughs> <laughs> Once a kiss is good, we're in trouble. Wait, no, no, no. You, you, you I was know thinking, how you said you remember you your worst one? Your worst kiss? You remember how you said you remember But that? if he had a big penis, would it matter if he sucked? Oh, at um, no. And does, a, and does a penis, big penis... What do you I think it matters that you both fit each other because some people can be like 
you know. Right. I don't think it, size matters. Yeah. yeah. No. It depends on the no. So absolutely a guy can be not. two inches, and you guys be okay with it? Well, it's not that. It's just whether or not a woman and a man. You fit. can no, please no, a no, woman I'm with a small dick. No, no. That's not, that was on my question. My question was: If a guy is two inches, will you guys be okay with it? There's, it's there's it's a yes or no question. Um, uh, it, yes. Well, I just want to explain yes. that yeah, there's really... lots of women orgasm from mm. clitoral stimulation. Right. And, and mental. It does not have and to mental. be. All and mental. Day. So, I that. so two inch dick versus an eight Knowing inch dick foreplay is, is more important. Is more important to a woman if if he treats her good. If he's good to her and she feels safe, that's true. And true. and and. and and he knows how men to men make that uh, the rule. Women don't. In my, I mean, well, some there is a lot of pressure. Do. A lot of I'm pressure on men. I'm just asking a question. No, 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 no you're good. Wondering. No, you're good. <laughs> if there's, there's a so you guys would be okay if a dude had like you know a little bitty thing. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I really want to say so this for all this. of the listeners out there. This is for the men. I'm gonna give you something that's gonna make you feel really good. Men look at their penis from up above. And look down. Yeah, you guys don't realize that we see your penis from the side or looking up. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot bigger to us. That's true. In appearance, looking sideways and up versus so this thing with size and men. I mean, it's a it's a thing for men. And I'm just trying to let you guys know: one, it does not really matter that much to women. The average size penis is like five and a half inches long. Damn. Yeah. Five and a half inches yeah. long. So this is th this is so you can try and compare yourselves to that. But even if there's a two inch penis, a woman could be very happy. I've never seen a two inch penis, to be quite frank. But that's crazy. We were just talking about a two inch penis the other day. One of really? Friends. Yeah, and and the guy got laid a lot because he would let women know it was like this comical kind of thing, and then women would have to fuck him to to experience it. So he was getting laid. Oh my With gosh! Penis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he he turned he turned into he turned that into something uh, that benefits him. It, that really should. doesn't matter. Women women do they they orgasm from uh, clitoris stimulation, and I think that if somebody is smaller, but it's really the way you guys treat us. That's really what's happening here. So no, the way it, the word treated play. is women will, will in the bedroom um, or outside of the bedroom. Uh, I, I would say, oh, other. but both. I yeah. mean, Can't you're you're not gonna feel safe if you don't feel safe as a woman yeah, outside of the bedroom. Then you're not gonna give yourself. It doesn't matter if you have a you tennis. You can only dick. let go. Because I can't use such words that you guys are. It's getting very serious. <laughs> but, I know. We but, weren't even planning you, this. Meddy. It's yeah, all your fault. No, I'm joking. Got, <laughs> that got graphic. But it's like the way that you're, you know, all day long if you're stimulated. And then you can let go and be trust trustworthy mm -hmm. with your partner, whether or not you can let go. And my, I agree. I mean, as a woman and to completely embrace yourself with your partner, it's like it just takes that all day long caring for each other. Absolutely. I'm a little bit more of a sensitive soul than I've all women are like that. And then yeah. when if if some guy was an asshole and whatever his size, whatever the money, if she doesn't feel safe, then you shouldn't even deal gonna, with a guy who's an asshole. No, period. you shouldn't. You shouldn't. No, no, you shouldn't. You should okay. But... How do we feel about deleted messages? Hmm. What do you mean, like uh, deleted messages, like, like boyfriend, someone, girlfriend, deleted someone deletes messages. it because that's obviously some they are not you, proud because they're being trying to hide. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you're talking about like if if you're with somebody and then they're dealing their messages, something is off. First of all, you shouldn't be going through your each other's phone anyways if you trust each other. Agreed. But. If you are doing that, then that means the person is being shady. But yeah. you can go through other somebody's phone to build trust. It depends. Like some well, people are like, yeah, my why, phone's why always. Why even put yourself in a position to have to want to question? Because once you start doing that, then you always want to be like, I wonder if there's something else that I missed. Then you're going to start yeah. building that. Yeah. And then, I mean, you're in the and wrong. If you're already itch. feeling that yeah. way, then you got to, I think, just already. go. Yeah. yeah. You, you need to offer support and security being 100%. saved yeah. right off the bat. So I think if you're if you're going through that, then no matter how you justify um, what your reason is or whatever, then something's just off already. I think that has to you be what they were saying. Shit. Like it's something that you deal with when you're younger. Like it's yes. start, you start to realize that those things are like not mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. partnership. Trust your it's gut. lowering your standards, right? Yes, it as is. As soon as you start lowering your standards... 
no matter what they are. When I say when you when you start negotiating with yourself, you're lowering right. your standards. When you yeah. were when you were going to go out with that guy and you're like, well, I'm going to bypass it. I'm not attracted to him like this or that. Yeah. You're already. So then when you're already lowering your standards and right. then shit goes south anyways, then you're like, oh. Then you start realizing, like, and then you I didn't even really stronger. like it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Nope. Um, what is your least favorite sexual position? Mm. I don't like the 69. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Really to be quite honest. Hot. I really it's don't. <laughs> it's not. And I just feel like it's a lot of work. And obviously there's some men that don't know how to do that um so i i've had Let's a couple say that friends. you actually love the man like completely that you were with like pretend we like need to find Bri a good man yeah. <laughs> she's, she's had some pretty bad, bad experiences some right now bad the, experiences well i think that same man that made me split the bill <laughs> he to this day still wants to be together and uh, he really does regret that right yeah, exactly so sad. okay too bad um Gosh, so is there anything on? I can't even ask this question. Oh, is it gonna get? <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Oh my god, there goes nothing. No, um, actually, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Um, have have you ever done anything to not have sex? Yes. Do you know what I'm talking about? Well, like, what you, you, you don't want to have sex with someone, and you like. You, you, like you do you're something sick. that you don't, yeah. So you, so you don't have sex. Oh yeah, yeah I go. I yeah, I've asleep. done it. I I've acted like, like I was sick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just say no. Yeah. She's just straight up. Yeah. Um. No, but but there's times like when when you're with, like kind of with someone, but then they did something to turn you off, and you're just like, I don't want to be with you, so you just yeah, I just say no things. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> we were talking the other. Last night, actually, Last night, we were, yeah. uh, and I really wanted to bring up about you uh, purposely trying to spill that drink. Oh yeah, you, I why I want to bring? I know, though. I know, I know, I know. But what I wanted, bro what I want to talk about, so that the listeners can hear, somebody brought him a drink, and he accidentally, pur purposely. purposely, spilled the drink because he didn't know if they put something in the, it. The vibe was wrong. The vibe was where wrong. the place I was at. I didn't feel comfortable with the the, the husband and wife I was with. Really, and I purposely they made me a drink, <sighs> and I purposely spilled it, and I went and made my own drink because wow, I didn't smart. know what they were up to. Wow, yeah. this is coming from a, a man. man. Trust your gut. That's an interesting. Yeah, I would like to hear that story. I never hear that from men. I'll tell you that story when we're not. On. <laughs> <laughs> but that was such a really good idea. I wanted to make sure that the listeners yeah, that heard that because idea. if somebody brings you a drink, you don't want to feel rude or whatever. And this is a man saying that mm. he was like, I don't know what they put in it. So he accidentally spills the drink and then he's like, oh, no, 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 no that's okay. A purposely. Or I would say, here, do you want a drink first? Here, <laughs> right. I need to make sure it's good. Right. <laughs> ah, that would, that would be, that would yeah, be a good thing. Is there a pet peeve that you have that would be a hard pass on uh, with somebody? Someone that talks over you is my biggest pet peeve. Biggest. That's why you yeah. said, I'm sorry if I interrupted you yeah. earlier. Yeah, it's the biggest. Um, like when someone just keeps talking over you and stuff. Like we don't listen to you, mm -hmm. and they just keep talking. You're like, I I'm trying to say something. Like, let's hear the fuck. Like, hear what I gotta say first, and then tell me your part. Like, come on, man. I'm guilty. I would be so excited to hear what you're trying to say, and I'd be yeah. like, Oh my god! And then and what? And I would do my little interludes in your conversation. Woman, yeah, woman, do it all. The yeah, I I'm like that. Participation as well. of speaking. I can't stand if somebody drags their feet or if they chew. I I, oh, it means that I know the chewing so thing. Right? Chewing. Yeah. Chewing. Yeah. What is up with that? Yeah. I still wear. I'm it's, sure I, I hate when men, um, you know, do their disgusting habits in front of women. Like what? Like, like what? Like bite their nails. I don't care if men bite their nails, obviously, because a lot of men do it. But do it behind closed doors. Like you think if you're like it's, it's, nibbling <laughs> right up. A, lo a lot of men have that. It's it's a nervous reaction when they get nervous. They do that. Really, so you make them nervous. 
Well, I don't make I don't make the front desk nervous. I, 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 I read that in the book that like when men get nervous, they, mm. they like chew their nails. But I just want to make sure I put it out there that no mayonnaise or ranch dressing around me. And never good. <laughs> Why? You don't like, you don't like no. neither of them. If you eat it around me, and I just want you to how hide, do you eat your wings? Hide the mayonnaise. You can't like even look at it. Yeah. It's, how do you eat your wings? I don't do ranch with them or pizza with it. I just do extra the red sauce. The wing but sauce? that's why r- the red sauce that it comes with, yeah. yeah. The and then sauce, I yeah. just got back from Germany, and uh-huh. all they had there was mayonnaise and sausage. If oh, I yeah. ever see any of those two things again, <laughs> when I came back to America, I was like, oh, oh, oh. mayo like, oh. and sausage. Yeah, yeah it's just, just like no, in Canada, you. they eat their their French fries with mayonnaise. Yeah, it's really. Horrible. Yes. I don't okay. know what no, it's thing. delicious. It doesn't come from the earth like olive oil. Like that's such a, a delicious dressing. But ranch, it's like. Whip cellulite. Whip, whip. I love ranch. I love it. Mayonnaise, <laughs> but mayonnaise is, all mayonnaise is is egg whites and say. lemon juice. Yep, that's what they always say. Yeah, that's yeah, all it is. Something about it. Have you guys heard of monogamish? No. What is I don't that? think there's it's a new term now. Such thing as that. That's like all the new terms that are completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> monogamish yes. is where you are monogamous, but you get like a hall pass once a year. Uh, once you decide, I, my philosophy is once you're in a relationship and you decide that you are the two people that you want to be together, there should be no, no, no hall need pass. Right. That's, that's it. You decide, th- th- then you shouldn't be with each other. Yeah, exactly. Period. You why should are, be in an open relationship if you desire someone yeah. else. Exactly. I just and why posted is lust on this. a thing? You know what and I mean? And that's not even a new, a, a real thing either way. An or open relationship. I have my opinions, of course. No, I agree I'm with that. I'm such a ruthless person. No, no, you're not ruthless. The open it's relationship just, is we're just single. Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah. Well, it's actually built on trust I guess. and being ethical and safety. Wait, wait, yeah. These open how, relationships really, truly ethical are. ethical if because you're everybody, somebody else? Because everybody knows about it and you agree. But. Yeah, but you're you're not cheating. You're not cheating, and you're saying, uh, "We want to experience these things together," and they they they're like minded. They have the same values. Um, that's their choice yeah. about right. their intimacy between themselves and anybody else. But it is truly based on being ethical, safety, and trust now yeah. they create their boundaries like all these different relationship styles and i posted on this the other day because there is no reason for anybody to cheat unless i mean i know there's circumstances whatever but the relationship styles there's too many of them out there if you want to experience sex with multiple partners or people then you find somebody who has that same the same value and wants those same experiences so that it's now once you create your rules and you're like okay but you can never do it when I'm out of town. You know, whatever they're they they create their rules, but, and then that then past that, then it then it breaks the trust down. But as long as everybody knows about it and everything's agreed upon, and you you select your relationship but, style. But like a a parachute too open, you fall to the ground, and then that equals society now, where the family is being broken up, and then we're having all these conflicts with too many relationships, like you said, but. I just feel like the world's kind of going the opposite way instead of unity. It's like everyone trying Mm -hmm. to have so many different styles of openness that it's becoming to the point where they're at their own demise. 100%. And so that's up to everyone to live their own life. And they realize their own evolution of learning and, and their own value system later on. But I think at the end of the day, if it breaks down, it doesn't, um, integrate. Like I, I always see like every type of relationship like that ends in some type of I don't know. Uh, so, You're right. I've I've I've, I, I've, 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 seen, I've seen so many monogamous relationships that haven't worked out too. True. <laughs> yeah. And and for me to say that like love has to be this this and this and this for it to be, I just think. But would you want are... a child to see that type of love? That's the way I judge everything is through the innocence of a child. And I think that I belong in a different era. But looking up from a child's point of view, if I weren't to see the unity of a man and a woman and the way that they uh, morally navigate a child, if I'm not proud of that and openly, then well, I feel like that might be something to question. Well, I mean, there's lots of people that are in relationships that raise children in violence i mean this isn't just about like sex. i said i would judge that too right from a child but that's why it's so important for you 
and everybody out there to to pay attention to your values so that you can truly be Align. who it is that you are yes. and you're not just going to go get married or be with somebody because you're supposed to but yet you have this you know kink or fetish or desire yeah, or whatever over here and now yeah. you're unhappy and all because you yourself aren't being honest with yourself and the things that you want to experience but and want to like. Kink and fetish go back to like something in the childhood, like something. It all, abuse. everything always goes back to the childhood. Yeah. So I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say I would be like, oh, really, I need to go really, satisfy really this because of my. Well, some things are meant to be, to, to remain fantasies. I do believe yeah. that. I don't believe that you're, you just go out and act out everything. Yeah. But for me, love is love. And there are lots of monogamous relationships out there that, that, are fucked up and raising kids in and then there's other relationships out there where love is actually an action and yeah. it's, it's healthy and a child thrives that's beautiful yeah but the monogamish you know the whole thing about multiple partners and all these different relationship styles to me is that it is based on something that's ethical and mm -hmm. trust and safety and a lot of people get confused with that and yeah but it's certainly because they don't know it's just because right. they don't know if you if for me if i could have sex with everybody that i wanted to then oh. isn't there a beauty and discipline yes absolutely yeah a thousand percent yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and all Agreed. things disciplined in life end up great yeah discipline, discipline is everything. Not, not obsessed discipline right discipline yeah. is everything but in those relationship styles that's exactly what they what they exercise too yeah i could respect we'll someone's agree to views, disagree but, but yeah. yeah i would i would just let people be themselves and from like that i would totally be friends with someone because i am friends with many people that have that type of relationship but yeah. i still am not too sh shy to tell them my opinion just like they aren't too shy to tell me theirs so i and we're still best friends yeah exactly it's reciprocated yeah. it's just being open-minded to the conversation and then once you're open-minded to it and see both perspectives you could say you appreciate you know them being honest right exactly that's why i do 11 lies because we have all those different Respect. stories and then by the end of the story you're like i never really thought about it and yeah and now i've gotten all of the information and i can absolutely see that so that's why love and love does what decisions. it does yeah, yeah you yeah exactly yeah. you may not see it and still re like okay at least i know right yeah. for me i want i just strive to work i mean you guys know me yeah i want everybody to feel like Comfortable. They, yeah i want them to i don't want people s sitting in shame I want the people to just embrace who they are and step out and, and become that and experience that and not give a fuck what other people fucking think. And exactly. That's yeah. The, You're going to be judged either way. You could be judged for doing the greatest thing ever, the kindest thing ever. You'll always be judged. So do what you think is morally correct. More from authenticity, not because of what people think. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So open relationships is the same thing. It's like, be Dang. yourself at all times yes and don't give a fuck what anyone else has to think or judge you that's for right. and stay true to yourself that's the most important thing a hundred percent only you will have to pay for your own actions that's no right. one else that is right okay our next question is a doozy <laughs> <laughs> do you pee when you are on the phone <laughs> yes okay, we talked about that. Yeah. That's right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you be I on the pee phone? and I take a shit on the phone. I don't care. <laughs> I do it all. <laughs> really? You do it all. And yeah, when, I, no, when I call like, you now, I'm like, gonna be like, what are you doing? No, I, I've done it and I do it when I got that. I, and I usually if it's my boys, I'm like, I'm taking a shit. We all boys do that to each other, first and foremost. <laughs> and then if I'm comfortable, because you know, I have a lot of girlfriends, you're one of my good girlfriends. Yeah. Like I have a lot of girlfriends. And I'm very comfortable. You know me. I have no filter. I say no, how it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if it's a girl I'm dating, I might not tell her. I'll put her on mute, but I still do yeah. it. Yeah. That's how I am. I'm a muter. Yeah, <laughs> totally. But I do it. Me too. Yeah. Muter. That's yeah. funny. And I, it's like time leverage. We're like, I only have 10 exactly. seconds to pee. And this conversation is going to take 30 seconds. I have time yeah, to pee I can't right hold now. Myself yeah, and it's like long. efficient. I'm like, yeah. I can go pee and talk to you at the same time. <laughs> exactly. um, Medi, do you know when a girl is trying to fix you? Yes. Yes. How? What do you do with that and how? I don't like it. But then, that's, see, that's when we were talking about earlier about having a conversation and being in an open conversation. If I'm doing something wrong and explain to me, 
I, if I'm doing something annoying, like biting my nails or something like that, I can correct that. But if someone is trying to change me, I'm not okay. It's with different. That. Yeah. yeah. Influence, influencing or helping. Correct. Is changing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know right away because the person, I've, I've had this experience where in the beginning, it's like a job interview. So they're on their best behavior. Right. But then the truth starts coming out. Uh -huh, like, oh, uh -huh, you can't uh -huh. do this. You can't talk to this person. You can't. And it's like, no, not happening. Yeah, you don't want to be controlled. Yes. Uh, no, but you you want to have you want to talk about things. What's Everybody just yeah. needs to talk on this. Yeah, absolutely. Because usually you have like the the other side of things. Um, I will. What's your what's your question? Well, the one that you asked, the one that you asked us. Oh, if a guy can couldn't want. How do you know if a guy's trying to control you or change you? Is that the yeah, question? Yeah. So, like you, what, how would you react to that if someone tried to? Control versus or change, change you, yeah, like a control or change me. Yeah, well, well, shit, that's another change story. You can, pick up, you can pick up the difference, I think, right? I've had this. I, you know, um, I am somebody that when I'm in a relationship, I really try and see the other person's point of view. Yeah, I really try. I, I, I go, okay, what, what, how would I feel? There are boundaries that I have, I will never let anybody ever stop me from my dreams yeah never yeah and if even inches towards that i'll change yeah and i'll never and i'll never be the same yeah. for you again yeah. i think you just have to communication is huge between partners and the better the communication the better the sex the yeah, better you that's true. talk about anything and everything I was asking you about that because um kind of like a bad boy. You are a bad boy. have this, yeah. Yeah. So there's the women that really want a bad boy and yeah. they want him to be, you know, for her. And so yeah. that's and, like and, the and that's happened to where they wanted like the whole bad boy. And then soon as like it became like to a like it became a relationship and we became serious. No, you can't do this. You can't act like you can't and they try to change who I am. I'm like, but this is who you met in this right who, yeah who i agree fell for so why are you trying to change me now i'm not gonna change this is just who i am yeah because i've tried i've done that before where i changed for someone and it because it became like i i started getting depression and like i mm -hmm. wasn't feeling, like it, i couldn't like be myself mm -hmm. i'm the same way it's like you met me you know what i'm all yeah. about anybody then you know what i'm all about so that's just gonna be what it is you can't change that shit Exactly. If I want to change me, then I will great. Change my, yeah. And I'll change myself. But when you but meet somebody, yeah. right. So a lot of people go, oh, they're attracted. That's that's that roots back to the childhood 100 percent Yeah. The, the daddy issues. It does. Wanting the bad boy and then wanting you to love us like we wanted our daddy to love us. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's just you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and, and women have told me that and that's why they were like, Can I call you daddy? You know, like <laughs> yeah that is so funny one of the listeners was asking about how to introduce this isn't our question but the other day this conversation came up because i was talking about the multiple styled relationships how does this person get their their partner introduce a threesome to their partner so i'm curious as to how you guys you don't have to answer but how you would want if you were with in a relationship and your partner wanted to have a threesome i can still answer how would though. you yeah. how would you want to be how, how would you want that uh -huh. how would you want them to come convinced. to you about that mm -hmm. well not not convinced. okay good yeah we don't want For, convinced. but, but to be asked yeah exactly yeah how There's would a you difference want, uh -huh, right uh -huh, right uh -huh, there uh -huh. so if someone were to ask you and manipulate you into it and make you feel less valuable in the relationship then that would be a big no-go if i was that girl well, it's manipulation. far to play yeah far to play devil's advocate i would be like no way it's like i can tell that it's manipulation but if that person was truly into that kind of thing we just wouldn't mesh and i would move on but it's that simple yeah but if, but if you were already in a relationship mm -hmm. And they were to approach, and they started I would thinking move on. about this. Uh -huh. I wouldn't. I would be zero. It's like for me, it's like a a zero percent chance. Oh, okay. Yeah, that so I would you would say, "I'm glad it. you said that." Yeah. And, you need and, I, to go and I would not. You. Go, I would go not want to change them. I would right. not want to judge them. That's cool. Yeah, because everyone has their thing. It's just like I. But I would have already picked up on that very quickly. 
but yeah. yeah, you got it. I know you're gonna answer this. I'm gonna let you answer, but I just want to say <laughs> we something. We can't. Oh, we can't talk over you. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, I get worried. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 like no, 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 Shit, take no, your no, turn. Because no, 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 no. I, I want to hear We're what you have. I really want to hear what you have to say. But sometimes for a man, it's just a fantasy. For most men, it's just a fantasy, and for most men, it'll never come true. Yeah. It's the fantasy that they have. But go ahead, you answer. Um, no, I, I agree with that. Um, I haven't been in a relationship where I've been asked that because you guys know I've not <laughs> really had very many relationships, but I was in a situation ship. Um, and it makes the, you feel less value to this person because he did present the, the situation to me, not once, not twice, but five times. And it oh. just made me feel like I wasn't enough. And at that point in time, you just you know, you just kind of start, you know, to internally think, well, why am I not enough? And then it causes insecurity and then it causes issues between the two of you. And then it spirals into the controlling aspect as well. And so I, I don't think that it's appropriate to just go into it with being like, would you be down for a threesome? Like, I feel like you should have an open conversation. Is that how he asked? <laughs> that's right. terrible. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's, that's bad. terrible. Oh, that that's man terrible. was the worst. That's oh, God. Terrible. How long did you guys date? We didn't date. We oh, were we a situation ship oh, for situation six years. Oh, yeah. my God. He, that's yeah. dating. That, so you don't even, you don't even, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Even, the lines are blurred. Right. Um. So, yeah. And a lot of what he did, you know, and, and I don't want to bash him because I've moved on from it. So I'm not trying to speak ill will about him, but these are situations that obviously. Speaking the truth. This yeah. is how the guy acted. This, this is exactly how he You're acted. You're not talking bad about him. This is what someone did. So. Right. Exactly. And, and so I think the thing to address here is that when he presented the conversation to me, yeah, he was just like, um, you know, do you want a threesome? I've had threesomes before. Like, I don't understand. And this is the kind of man uh, he has bragged about his body count so, being a hundred people. Okay, yeah, that's a dude. So, so let's just say this real quick. So, um, we are our appetite, our desires change about every ninety days. So, if you're in a relationship with somebody and they start bringing this up, um, that's kind of kind of where that could come from. But this is why it's so important to be honest with yourself. Cause if you know that you're that type of like, if that's what yeah. type of yeah. um, sex life that you want, yeah. uh, then you know that Brie is not, so you can't just like go be, be with her and date her and then yeah. hope that you can convince her or that she'll do it one day. Yeah. That's why you just it gotta goes, be like, it goes back to the respect too, because if he would have presented it differently and been like, <laughs> You know, obviously I would have said no anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, but the thing is, is that if he would have come to me and that's something that he, he is his interest but not mine, I would have wanted him to be respectful and been like, Hey, this is something, you know, that I'm attracted to. Um, and I want to know your thoughts on it. So that it's kind of like an open conversation where we address the situation. But if you just like say it five times and ask a woman, no, you know, and then that makes her feel worse about herself. We, do you, we, what do you, you know, what we need to do. What? We need to start like some classes. Uh -huh. like, yeah. We make a lot of money. Yeah, on teaching dudes how to talk, like, uh, talk and yeah. approach women. Yeah. because some of the they shit don't. that I hear is like raw. Yeah, e e either you just you're an idiot, or your dad didn't teach you how to be a fucking gentleman. Mm -hmm. There's at a all. lot of that. A lot of men do not know how to talk to women. No man out uh, in Old Town, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta change um, your zip codes. The exactly. I realize, and Scott still hundred percent no go for me. They don't know how to act. No offense, Mrs. Scott. Right, their dad didn't teach him how to be a man. Period. No, no, a lot of that. Um, and but but it's also their responsibility to go out and try and learn and learn that. That's educate, why we should start educate. this class. <laughs> well, we'll actually, go money. I actually, I actually do coaching for men aspect, but I want to say to the to the guy that asked the question she has to feel safe she has to exactly. feel safe if she feels so safe and she's like well maybe you know it's going to really stem from feeling safe and that would be my answer to to them is make sure but don't make her feel safe so you can manipulate her and right. tr tr try and get her to, yeah. to say yes and if you're already thinking like that then just, then i think that you're with somebody who probably it, it probably thinks like that along the, but you're right it's a fantasy so just talk it, it's, about it's it talk about your fantasies fantasy. have sex and talk about it and see you know if it does to, something to for her men like threesome is like 
one of the biggest accomplishments ever. It's like, oh, a threesome, bro. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's not that serious. Do you guys think I've had a threesome? Yes. I mean, I think that you no, I'm kidding. portray I don't know. yourself that you would, but I think maybe um, when I look at you, it's your soul and your spirit that maybe no. I don't think MJ has. I'm sorry. What was the question? <laughs> if she's ever had a threesome. If I've ever had a threesome. Oh, 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 oh. Um, no, I haven't. No, no. no if if me. Has. Oh, if you've had one? Yes. Do you think she looks like she would be someone who had a threesome? Uh, no, I, I didn't ask like, look like. I know, know I look like I've had a threesome. I feel like I'm going to say no. Dead. I'm going to say no. <laughs> just because you are very like are you are we saying ever <laughs> are we saying ever yeah yeah ever okay okay then yes M maybe maybe at some point down the line <laughs> maybe down the line okay i have not ever had three so okay that i shock you guys the, that yeah. doesn't shock you that it doesn't so cool. shock me because i know so you so cool. well that is so cool i know you so I well that you guys first... know me that well i i was just like you speak so highly of your partner that like I, I didn't think that there would ever you know be we broke up <laughs> what? oh they broke up oh wait a minute well you guys did chapter <laughs> so wait a minute um i'll always speak well, I'll, I'll always speak highly yeah. of, of whoever i'm with that's um classy. yeah because you saw classy. it during the time yeah. exactly right uh okay so my biggest fear is being on a podcast myself and them saying a word that i don't know Oh no! It is. <laughs> no, we're not it doing is. this. We're not doing words. Yeah, just one, <laughs> word, <laughs> one word, one word, one word, one word, one okay. word. I'm gonna say the word, and I'm gonna uh, see uh, if y'all know it. Okay. Okay. Right. I have to say, I don't know it. <laughs> okay. Straight up, I'm too. Is everybody like word. starting to sweat? Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> no, I would just feel like I'm so dumb in that department. No. No. You be nice. We get All to good. learn. The listeners yeah. get to see. The reason why we do this is because it is um what everybody feels like i think when they hear a word that they're like yeah yeah you gotta represent when you're just like i don't know what the hell that means right. i need to ask call call a friend uh yeah. are they <laughs> ai words uh -huh. no proclivity yeah. Yeah. i don't know that word proclivity. english is my third language so you guys go <laughs> Oh, look at that flex right there. Go first. He was trying to put in a, a sly flex. Yeah. Isn't it? No, you got a okay. flex. So, my third language. Like, it, it's my third language, so uh, <laughs> just just pass me. Don't mind me. That's funny. Uh, you don't have to guess what it is, but it is a tendency to choose or do something regularly. A natural tendency to like something. That's cool. So people either have a proclivity or they do not. That's how you would use it in a sentence. Say that definition again. Proclivity. That they it is uh, a tendency to choose okay. or do something regularly. To choose or to do something habitually. Mm -hmm. So habitually. So regularly. Do it over so and over he regularly. soon demonstrated his proclivity for criminal action when he was caught stealing money. Oh, like, okay. okay. Tendency. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That is really cool that you guys got a little nervous because that's how I feel whenever I, that's my like fear. So I have to address that shit. Yeah. I have to address it. And that's why I brought it up with every MN friends. We have to have a word, a vocabulary word. Yeah. So now we all get to learn together. And I've heard that word True. too. And it's great? like I've heard it, but I've never been like, what does that mean? Um, I just can feel the definition usually, but I couldn't even feel it. <laughs> And like it's not coming. She can feel there's the meaning no, behind yeah, it. Yeah, there's no cloud. <laughs> like, just tell me the whole sentence, and I still um, get it. What is your favorite song? And then we're gonna get on to the love advice question. What is your favorite song right now? Like first song right now? It changes today. My favorite song today. Bad Reputation by Kid Rock. Okay. Bad period. Reputation, period. Um, I got a bad reputation for a real good time. Okay. That's yeah. Can you sing? No. Damn. Um, it sounded like it. Mine is Push Ups by Drake. Okay. Yeah. I personally really like his new diss track. I, I think he ate. Oh, yeah. I think he did. I will say, though, Kendrick Lamar did kind of yeah, get him. Did she just say, I think? The second <laughs> yes, I did Wait, the, the seven-minute version. Yeah. 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 Turn on to this terminology. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm so, like, this is what eight means. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mean? It means that he basically did so amazing and was. <laughs> that was the thing I could feel the, the definition on. And I'm <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think that he did. Okay. Like, I, I just felt like 
I don't even know what the beef song was originally with Metro Boomin and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on the Metro Boomin album. I'm what so the out. What the I No, listen to the. I need listen to do a push, push off my check. hair. Nope, not cool. <laughs> For my, mine is J. Cole, Hunt Wabbits. Hunt Wabbits. Hunt okay. Wabbits. Okay. I love that song. And then the reason why I I know so much about hip hop because you you know this, I Mm -hmm. produce music. I have a YouTube channel that I produce music. That's what's up. Yeah. And then we'll have to let everybody know where they can. Ahura Beats. Go check it out. What is it? Ahura Beats. How do you spell that? A H U R A B E A T Z. Do you guys ever turn down too short at the red light? Like I do. I love. I turn that shit. Uh, who, whoever turns down too short. I don't know, but I have before <laughs> because it would be up all the way on like a hundred, and then I'd come to a red light, and I look around, and everyone's oh. windows are down, and I'm like, oh I don't my know God. too many people that even listen to I mean, too short this, anymore. Let me make sure there's no kids in the area. You know. I'm like, wait, I who's too short? Oh. I, know. No, I, know. I wanted to get you back for that one. No, um, eight. So she's like, you know what? <laughs> too short is so eight. Let's girl. humble her. Too I know. Short I'm is like, still he, around. Is, he is still around. Yeah. But I was like, it's not. It's not very. It's um, like what we chances of on. you rolling, uh, rolling up to a light and somebody listening to too short. But it would be one of his more, more popular songs yeah. for sure. Um, mine is by Justin Heights. Uh, let it go okay fucking crazy love this song he's hot the song's hot okay it's all hot we're yeah, gonna have yeah, to take yeah. a listen after i'll send you guys the link <laughs> the only reason it. i came up with such a terrible song it's just good to like rock out to but i have so good songs that i can't even think of on the spot that are like oh they hit you and i they aren't going to come up on this podcast, darn it. No. Because I have on like a whole freaking playlist of good songs. <laughs> okay. Here is our question um, for the listeners that have not listened to it. Emma Friends. I give my, we get a love uh, request question. I give my professional advice. The girls give their girlfriend advice. And then Maddie gives his male advice. <laughs> Okay. I'm someone that shouldn't be giving any advice to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> look at us. Do we look like we should be giving advice? People need it, y'all. People need it. Okay. My boyfriend wants me to delete my social media so we can have a healthy relationship. I feel like it has more to do with control what to do. I've thought about this question. Go ahead. Wait, what, what's In my what's your advice? <laughs> Like right that. when I that's did, where great I, thoughts I went through happen. all my yeah my counseling <laughs> advice is me in the shower <laughs> thoughts. Um, so it depends on the woman. She already knows instinctively into it. Our intuition's good, so she already knows the answer first of all because she said, "I feel like it has to do with control." So that's the answer. But um, if he has a thought like, "Is she abusing social media and like not doing something right to where she's being herself and like he's trying to help her out?" Like in any like thing that we do to ourselves, and the man's trying to help us out and see through things. But to delete your whole social media th- this day would be like deleting your actual existence because we require even though everyone talks crap about social media it's still required to like have like a resume footprint or to like have your own expression because um you need to find someone to like uh, be part of society now it's town square so it's kind of an insult for someone to say will you delete your existence because that is the equivalence of like that's a very big ass yeah Yeah, that's so, so true but then you have the people that are like Um, they're using social media for like just complete poison and they're, they're drinking it like poison. And, and you're like, Hey, can you please just be present? Cause we go to the dinner and you're on your phone and you're every single second you're obsessed with that instead of being present. Can you delete it for like a while and see if we can come back to reality together and be present? So there's two sides of the story, but, uh, she already said the answer. So I know what side it is because the woman will always know deeply. It's the first thing she said. So that's my take. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, that was well said. Thank you. Yeah. No, I agree 100% with what you said. And I think that just in general, going back to having open conversations and addressing the underlying issue, if he feels that way, instead of it being a controlling situation, um, or I should say environment, you can resolve it and come up with a solution where both parties are satisfied instead of just it being like one person is controlling the other. Like you said, it, there, like, it why is he to, asking her that? Exactly. Yeah. There has to be some context as to why. why? Yeah. yeah. And then once you address what the underlying issue is, then you could come up with solutions as, to, okay, well, how am I going to, you know, you could compromise. If he 
if, if the reason is obviously just to delete your existence, I, I don't think that's, that's very like fair. like a hell no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does not make it healthier yeah. by any means. So I think that you just definitely need to address the situation with your partner. All right, Maddie. No, I mean, they both pretty much said exactly what I would say, but better than me. Um, it's really like the question is why? Yeah. Like, why do you have to tell someone to do that? If if it's a toxic thing, if they're not getting things done and the social media is holding them back because they're constantly on there watching videos or, or fucking up, okay, I could understand that. But if it's for control, like, oh, the guys are, like, liking your picture or I don't want no one seeing you, then that's wacky and that mm -hmm. the person's got to go. Right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I think... Um, that well the fact that she said i think this is about control um is something that's the first thing that pops up that that's kind of what you got there's there's more obviously that we don't know uh i think you have to listen to your partner i would have asked in what ways is our relationship going to be healthier if i first of all i don't think anybody should delete anything you can be inactive you can pause it, but deleting something I think is very extreme. So uh, where I would have them instead of you having to respond with an action yourself, have them elaborate and tell you in what ways this is going to benefit your relationship, how it's going to make you stronger, how it's going to um, grow you, how it's going to benefit you. Because if they can't answer those questions, then it is manipulation and control. Yeah. Because they should have those answers if they're if they're if they're in their mind thinking, well, if she deleted the account or was no more than, you know, this this XYZ. So they would have already had that figured out. Right. And have clear answers why and how we would benefit the relationship. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah, because is he it? trying to delete like the way her pro photos look? Is she trying to delete the way her she sounds on video? Is he trying to delete that she watches other people too much? It depends on what. Yeah, it's like, it what, does. Yeah, because it's yeah. like, are you trying to delete her personality? Because that's still going to exist. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. yeah, like mm -hmm. that that wouldn't help the relationship. Exactly. Like you said, like what are you trying to resolve? You right, know? exactly. Yeah. so they should have the answer. Yeah. If somebody's wanting and you then I would to delete, you then you would go. Okay, so what do you? But if I do this, but then, you know, it's like, go ahead, try, don't delete it, uh, make it inactive for, give it a trial period and call them like, okay, let's go. Let's see how this is going to benefit us and see if you really are happy with that person with the rest of the world. Yeah. Closed out. Yeah. yeah. There you go. That was a good way to say it. Yeah. But if you meet somebody the way that they are, I'm right there. I'm really right there with you, Medi. Meeting people, where who they are, yeah. and got, not you, try and change. Like no, you've got you to. You can't embrace. change people. You you have to, if you decide to be with someone. This is who you picked, mm -hmm. and it's who they're going to be. Yeah. And when you try to change someone, you're taking something away from them, mm -hmm. and eventually that becomes resentment. Mm -hmm. And the last 100%. thing you want is resentment in 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 a relationship because after that everything is going to go to shit eventually. Sex life goes right down the yes. When as soon as resentment, yeah. As soon as safety goes away. Then that's, but I like that, that affects that when, when you question someone and they're about to ask you such a serious question, like, will you delete this? And by you, it's almost like a counselor way of asking them a question back, right? Mm -hmm. What you did. So that's like your, your knowledge, like you run deep in that department and I don't, but it's like just hearing that, that actually would give that person a learning experience versus a demanding one that they just did to you. So oh, I, I think it's that. taking the higher road to be like, let me give, even though we aren't going to be together after this, probably, you know what I mean? It's kind of <laughs> one of those things, mm -hmm. but it's almost like putting an imprint on someone to leave them like with someone, something to think about. Like later on, they're going to realize that girl gave me something to think about and fed me a whole different medicine by asking that question and doing, I don't know. I just think it's cool when you leave someone better than where you found them. And I would still walk away from that. Yeah, being open minded. Yeah, or just yeah, just giving a lesson like it, there you can tell she's probably more evolved than 
And if someone's asking you to delete your social media, it's just kind of, it's controlling. It's crazy how much value social media yeah. has 100%. become for us individually. Yeah. The demand. I love not using social media, though. I can agree with, like, I love to delete my social media. I have Same. other people running it, and, like, it completely takes over. Like, yeah, you do. Like, I'm like, is she even I don't seen even, that I'm liking no, her shit? No. No. Yeah. Like, I, it, take, it takes over your per – so I, that's why I say I would like to know why, because it's – Social media is all encompassing of your whole world now to where you lose sight of like, that's why I said, is she just like on her phone the whole day and like not noticing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's so negative too. I don't, I mean, it I is. obviously have an Instagram and stuff, but I only download it maybe once a, a month or, you know, um, but the point here is to encourage it if it becomes a problem, but not to demand it yeah. because once it's demanding and just like he said, you don't want to resent anybody in a relationship. And again, in my situation, I've, tr I've been the one, I will admit, I have been the one that has tried to control him. The six year situation ship. I wanted him so badly that I like him doing all these things. I should have just walked away. I should have had the self-respect of being like, all right, you know what? This is not my person. But because of my ego, ego. <laughs> I stayed. I stayed. And so, ego. right. And so, and the thing is, is I uh, tried controlling him so much. And towards the end, it was getting to the point where we could be in a relationship. But when I go out of town, he's doing the same things. And then we're back in square one. And it's like, you don't want to live a life of repetitive behavior and patterns. You want to live with somebody that you're safe and secure with. So ultimately, you have to make sure that that's also a factor as well. Yeah, like cheering them on, not just mm -hmm. always taking pieces away of them. Like that sucks. Yeah, and it didn't work out for me. And honestly, it, it made me lose myself as well because I'm yeah. over here making this person the main character of my life when I am the main character of my life. And so it, it just makes you feel so negative. And then it makes you want to go on social media even more and be more negative <laughs> and add fuel to the fire, right? Because that's just naturally what you would do in an in ten intense situation where someone's trying to control you. Yep. It goes back to that insecurity thing. Yeah. If, it, I, if it's about insecurity, then... Uh, shoo, I can't handle yeah. insecure people. Nope. Uh, it, 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 it's it's a big turn no, no. off. It's a no no. Period. Ugly, I, I won't even put up with it. Disease. Cause I, I, it is a disease. It I've is. been there. I will admit it. Even last year, I was exactly like that. The new version of me has really made me like. I'm so glad that I actually get to speak with people that actually do have great insight because a lot of people my age don't have this insight. Honestly, a lot of us are still in the stages of where we just hook up with people and don't think about these things or we're scared of being alone. So instead, because we're we're dealing with all this, you know, we're dealing with having a career, the inflation, how to even say alive you know <laughs> so you know it's great to hear that there are people out there i just haven't been to that point in my life yet so right now i'm still in the in-between stages of where hookup culture was like you know obviously from college it it was very normalized and I know, so i see that girl that yeah must be a hard time growing up well we were all inspired by the 85 percent uh Whole of having one yeah, sexual nice partner for the rest of so nice. So I, I would it give anything me. to have yeah. the person for the rest of my life instead of dating. 100%. I'm mm -hmm. sick of dating. I've stopped dating. Mm -hmm. uh, I deleted all. I'm like I'm. I'm really. I haven't dated for the past couple months, and I'm not even looking forward to date because I've had so much like bad taste in my mouth. I'm not even pursuing dating or like trying to look for someone right now. I believe. One, when the time is right, that person is going to come to my life is That's what right. I'm believing in right now. Yeah, uh, that is so true. And you will um, know what you're what you will allow in somebody who's who is meant for you won't require all of the changes. Right. There you go. Yeah. You know, that's it right there. Yeah. You I think get to ask yourself, do I love this person this much to do whatever? Uh, as right. long as you're saying yes. Yeah. Or um, do you love yourself? You, ha do you have to. Loving yeah. yourself is, is, you have to. You guys cannot, I'm experiencing something right now yeah. uh, uh, with self-love and getting to know somebody that has self-love. And the, right. what is the difference? Yeah. Again, confidence is not self-love. Self no. 
at all. So um, the difference is just night and day. And when you find two people in that same stage, that's like yeah. unbelievable. Because right? it, it, it's it, always it, one person's off. Absolutely. Like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm either screwed up or going through something and then or that person's fixed and I'm look like a total idiot. And like, we're, oh, my we're, God, we're like, I'm still learning. Yeah. Somehow. But sometimes people just are a little bit more like you go, you get it later on where they leave a good impression yeah. on you're like, wow, I was messed up at that time. I was closed mm-hmm. off or I didn't yeah. reciprocate or yeah. I know all my faults like I or later on, you realize I didn't even give that person time of day and they deserved it or <laughs> like so many things. Yeah. I look back true. and I'm like, That's unbelievable that I treated that person of all people and I gave effort to this person that <laughs> yeah. didn't deserve anything. Like, what was wrong with me at that time? No, yeah. yeah. We're just not evolved yet. Yeah. That's I, all. I really That's all a journey. I, I, tr- like this year, I was very set on working on myself and I, discipline i feel like when you learn self-control and discipline and start to respect yourself and love yourself and let that go letting him go like six years huge act of, of this person yeah, yeah. and that's just what telling- happened to me the same yeah letting someone go after that long that right. that really makes mm. your what whole your, what change. was your experience if you don't mind me asking oh yeah i don't mind um i mean i was with someone for like five years and he was like a best friend and he ended up having the cheating type life going on at the end and i found that out but there was always just so you know the way that we talk about when you learn as a woman and what you'll accept and what you won't accept um but you don't aren't willing to completely go one and center with yourself. You kind of just make excuses for the little red flags that you see because Mm -hmm. everything was so beautiful around it. Even today, my mind still believes that we're best friends. My mind still believes and feels the, the, the same like uh, oh I, I let go but i just mean i still have that like you're hanging on like <laughs> yeah. you know, i still have the memory of right. wow we got along so well and it was such a great but the disrespect that goes on on the other side you're like um i didn't know that it went on till the very last moment but like i say you you find little red flags that you're like huh and then you just kind of go over it like i'm a cool i'm chill i'm chill don't be too chill <laughs> you yeah, know don't be too because chill. then you're, you're like wait i no, like i'm not chill like yeah, like yeah. that was the learning experience. But I'm just saying it's interesting how your mind can hold on to like people and and moments where I'm like, gosh, that was so nice. That that moment of, you know, many moments of best friend feelings and that your own best friend can do that. It's it's just some people, like she said, aren't being true to themselves. They got me wrapped up into a thing that they weren't willing. He wasn't willing to um, say the truth that he really would have been OK with non-faithful life right yeah that's that and then he knew i wouldn't so then he hid it from me it's that bottom line right yeah Yeah, that's controlling somebody's reality which sucks because you would have chose different if he would have come yeah if i were hey i want to date other women and he's the one that would manipulate me to Uh, can we be monogamish yeah and he would would say things that would uh, sound like a cheater like why are you doing this it was all about me yeah Yeah. and so so that's when i would we would fight and break up and then it would be the he would go cheat then yeah, you would go hit knows? it and then come back. Yeah. How yeah. does people reach you guys? How, how do they reach you if they want to? Not talk about you? relationships. I highly advise you talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> you would like to. Somebody wants me. to follow. <laughs> where where you've got your music on YouTube? Yeah, my Instagram and Facebook is Medi the King with T H A Medi the King. Yeah, T H A. I I couldn't find you. Yeah. Like, oh, that's <laughs> that's uh, why. Yeah, you gotta do the A. Yeah. Um, mine is Brie Tarones on literally everything. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I post on social media absolutely never, but I'm on it <laughs> once or twice a month. So def- if you guys need any relationship help from someone that's not been in very many relationships, <laughs> I sure have a lot of stories. So, hey, at least you won't have a guy asking you to delete your social media because you aren't even on. Oh, yeah. you know what? And I went to go find her, uh, and she's not on social media. I could not find her last night. No, uh? nope. Oh, I could not find her. Oh man, damn. So he he, he so already got know. to it. He already got to it. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll, so I'll she go. actually. Went for the I, question, I and then she listened, and then well, she might be given a trial. Yeah. See if she's already yeah. deleted it. 
That sucks because she. Girl, didn't you wait. need to go up to him. Yeah, <laughs> you need to stand your ground yeah. and you need to be like, "Hey, you know, I don't feel right about." We this. all know the answer. Yeah, I like. Thanks for having us on here, and we love you. Dearly. Yeah, thank oh you, my God. Thank You're you very guys. sweet. I love you too. You're the best. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.